and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K18 Universe mode. My name is Brendan Blaze, and this is Monday Night Raw, the final Raw before tables, ladders, and chairs. What a pay-per-view that will be, and tonight we find out who will take on Samoa Joe at TLC for the Universal Championship in what will be a tables, ladders, and chairs match. It will be Seth Rollins and John Cena in the Universal Championship Tournament Finale. Well, tonight we also see Kevin Owens going up against Big Cass one-on-one. -on -one. Carmella will also take on Maurice in singles action. R-Truth is in action, taking on Darren Young. Neville will take on Baron Corbin. We'll see the New Day take on the new team to Raw, the Revival. The winners take on the club. And we'll see this match, the one we have been waiting for. Cena versus Rollins, one-on-one to determine who makes it to TLC to get a championship opportunity for the Universal title. Kevin Owens knocks off Big Cass in our opening matchup. Carmella and Maurice, it is Carmella with the victory. R-Truth and Darren Young. D.Y. picks up the win. Neville and Baron Corbin. Neville also grabs the victory. So here we go, tag team action here on Monday Night Raw to kick things off here with our first of our two featured matchups. We're going to see one of the new teams on Raw, The Revival, in action up against well, a veteran team here in Universe Mode now in the new day. Looking forward to this one. The Revival were impressive a few weeks ago when they made their Raw debut. And look, they're not about flashy moves, they're not about doing flips and impressing the WWE Universe. They're just out here to beat people up. And you've got to respect that. It's not a bad idea to do, it's not a bad strategy to try and employ, and if it works, it works. Fantastic. You know, the Revival, I think, have been a little bit underwhelming. We saw plenty of them in NXT. They were good at times, but they just lacked that consistency. Maybe a change here, the call-up to the main roster, is exactly what they need to step up and try and make a major name for themselves here. Well, they've got the team of the New Day to contend with here tonight. New Day have won the tag titles on several occasions, have been very, very good as a team. But when it comes to knocking off the club, Gallows and Anderson just can't seem to do it. They just can't seem to beat them. They've had a few chances now. They would love another one. I'm not sure if realistically they deserve another chance, but they're trying to get themselves another opportunity. Tonight, they have to beat the Revival, which realistically, you'd have to say they're the favorites to do. The Revival did get a big victory and have started well, but the New Day have been good for a long period of time. They will be tough to beat, and they would love to get the job done if possible. We'll see if they can do it. The New Day and the Revival about to begin right now. And we've seen plenty of new tag teams arrive here on Raw and SmackDown over the last number of months, especially SmackDown getting a major injection of brand new tag teams over there, and Raw getting one of their own in the Revival. So good to see some new teams arriving and, and challenging uh, some of our top tier teams here on Raw and SmackDown. And Raw obviously have been dominated by the club, but also the, the, the New Day has been excellent. The Usos ha has been great as well. The Golden Truth still hanging in there, still doing well at times. So there's some good teams here. The Colognes, they're, they're thereabouts as well. They get the odd victory here and there. The odd upset. There's a nice Hurricane Runner there by Kofi Kingston. SmackDown, of course. We're going to see one of the new teams in Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable take on Rai KO at TLC for the Tag Team Championships of SmackDown. Looking forward to that one. Kofi Kingston is just going to get the support of the fans here early on. It's Kofi and Xavier Woods here today. Big E sitting out for this one, which is an interesting call. I don't mind it though. Trying to go for the well, more agile team. Trying to counteract that brawl, beatdown style of the Revival with that flips and high-flying action, fast-paced style of Woods and Kobe Kingston. So a complete contrast to two different styles in this matchup, and it certainly could work out. I mean, personally, I always believe Big E should be in the team no matter what. I think Big E has had so much success. You, you kind of want to have him in either way, whereas Xavier Woods and Kobe Kingston, well, they kind of complement each other a little bit there. They can try and fulfill the same type of role, but Big E's that powerhouse, that different X factor that the New Day often do need and they are lacking him in this match we'll see if it does help them or hinder them here hangs up scott dawson there as dash wilder wants to get back in this matchup 
And I don't think he's going to be able to do it just yet because Kofi Kingston is going to try and shut it down in the corner. But now Dawson's going to drive Kingston all the way over to Dash Wilder with a clothesline there to Kofi. A chance for the tag if he wants it. Well, we all know the Revival, very arrogant. They believe in themselves. They're very confident in their own abilities. And look, to be honest, that's not the worst thing in the world to be. You know, you want to be confident in yourself. You want to believe that you can beat any team that you come up against. But sometimes they are a little bit overconfident. And considering they haven't been, well, in my opinion, the best team in NXT or the best team at all at any period of time and wherever they've been, you know, you kind of have to question that arrogance a little bit. Sometimes they could be displaying a little bit too much arrogance as there is Kofi Kingston with that boom drop. Down goes the double legs right there on Scott Dawson. That leg drop, and now he's got him in the corner. Going to go for the tag, and this is not where you want to be if you're Scott Dawson right now. This is where the New Day is at their best. Frequent tags and stopping the living hell out of Scott Dawson in the corner. Kofi and Xavier Woods just beating him down here, stomping away more and more. And now Xavier Woods in the corner with the drop kick sliding straight into Scott Dawson. He's still the legal man as well, Xavier Woods. Here's the cover now. Kofi's going to get in here to save the day. Make sure that uh, Dash Wilder does not get involved. But right now, Scott Dawson has taken an absolute beating here from the New Day. Great strategy here. You want to make sure you do keep the one man isolated and try and take out the other when you can. They've done that well here. As now Xavier Woods of the second misses out. Still has an opportunity here to capitalize despite the miss. He's still got a hold of Scott Dawson here. He's going to pick him up. Misses out though and now going to get slammed for his troubles. Now Dawson will get a chance here. And here's the tag. Much needed tag here. They just were not going too well with Scott Dawson in this match so far. He's had a rough start. And Dash Wilder might be able to turn things around. Of course, Gals and Anson, our tag team champions here on Raw, have been for a long, long period of time. Heading back all the way to WrestleMania, where they really started their tremendous reign. They believe they're going to go a full year as tag champs and become the most successful tag team in Universe 1 history. And to be honest, I just don't know who can stop them. They've had their run-ins with many teams. They just said the Usos, the New Day, uh, of course, and... Uh, you know, more recently as well, the Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys have been injured and taken out, so we don't know the status of those two. When we'll see them again, they were taken out backstage a couple of months ago. We haven't seen them for a while, so we don't know if they'll be back. And right now, Xavier Woods lining up his man. Here comes Woods, and there it is. Takes down Dash Wilder. And now Dash is going to be taken towards the corner of Kofi Kingston. The tag now. The New Day working well. Looking for a bit of up, up, down, down. Not good at all for the Revival. The cover. This will be it. But, oh, Dawson gets himself involved and saves the day. Well, he needed to do that. Otherwise, his team loses here. And the Revival do not want to lose here tonight. Coming up against a very experienced team as well in the New Day, a very successful tag team who are looking just to make sure that they send a bit of a friendly reminder to everybody in the tag division that they're still the, the team to beat alongside the club. And that's a good reminder to have as Kofi, the draw breaker there. And now Kingston drops toe hold, gets taken down there by Dash. Well, hang on a second, in the corner, taking off the top turnbuckle padding. I'm not sure if I agree with that one, but uh, the top turnbuckle padding is gone. Exposed turnbuckle right near Scott Dawson. And I can guarantee you they will look to expose that as much as they possibly can. And now the knee. He's got him up as well. Going to pick him up. And we'll just drop him straight down. Right in front of him. This could be it here for Kofi Kingston. Going to kick out again. Just at the count of one. Woods now wants Kofi to get back to the corner here. Looking for a tag. But we have to take a quick break in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back right after this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at TLC, we're going to see Dolph Ziggler defend the United States Championship against the lunatic Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose managed to beat Dolph Ziggler, and Ziggler has been on a roll himself, but he will be truly tested when Dean Ambrose, who's in red-hot form, looks to take that title away from Dolph Ziggler. 
and capture his first championship in quite some time. Dean Ambrose will be desperate. Can he find a way to win? We'll find out at tables, ladders and chairs, and it will take place next weekend. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is correct. Next weekend on Saturday, January 20th, we will see the tables, ladders and chairs, pay-per-view, one that you will not want to miss whatsoever. It's going to be big. And, uh, of course, that will be at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. UK time, as per usual. Live right here on Brendan Plays on YouTube and on Twitch. Links are in the description down below, so make sure you are followed up and subscribed so you don't miss the TLC peak review coming up. And if you want to know the full card, of course, check out the website, brendanplays.com, for all the matches that are currently announced. They're over there right now. Xavier Woods looking to get... Ooh, looking to get... Dash over the top rope. He hung on though. Now Woods looking to flip him through to the outside. Flip us through to the outside. Not good at all for Dash Wilder. Scott Dawson watching on. He might try to get himself involved and does. He hit the drop kick to stop Woods from hurting his partner even more. And a running bulldog slapping the face of Xavier Woods on the steel steps in the process. And now, oh, tempted German suplex, but Woods landed back on his feet. Two on one situation though. Back into the steel steps he goes, does Xavier Woods. Well, this is when the Revival are at their best to the outside of the ring and a bit of a mugging, a street fight type of situation. Just beat you down, use whatever they can to inflict as much punishment to you as possible. Xavier Woods is down. The count continues to grow. And as we saw in the recent episode of NXT, a count out doesn't always mean a bad thing with, of course, Street Profits defeating Sanity in that match up there. And uh, on that occasion, it meant... But the Street Profits were going to get themselves an opportunity, you would think, for those tag team titles. It would be the same thing for one of these two teams here. Kofi Kingston flips down Dash, but he's not the legal man. Scott Dawson back in now. Xavier Woods. Oh, nice counter. Big time counter there by Xavier Woods. Keeping his team alive in this match. Count out victory just to finish that point would mean that whoever wins this match will still get that title opportunity against the club. You don't have to win. By pinfall submission, a count out, or even a DQ will be good enough. Woods now gets Dawson in the corner. Kofi now. He's on the second row. Double axe right to the arm. Kofi kicks it. This is a real great opportunity right now to shine, to strike, take down your opponents. Kofi up top, crossbody. Started on the second, went to the top, hit the crossbody. Kofi's fired up. And he should be, because his team is closing in on a victory. Dash Wilder is down. The Revival are in some trouble here. This is not going to be good at all. The Revival need to find a way. They're in the corner now. Kofi Kingston met there with a strike. And now Dawson, though, slapped away with a jump against Aguri. Kofi now going to get his opponent back to the corner where Xavier Woods is watching on, waiting for a tag. He'll get one, and this is not going to be good. They're going to go back to the double axe again. Working away on that arm, and now Xavier Woods with the elbow strike. Now Xavier Woods, look out! The Shining Wizard by Xavier Woods! Scott Dawson is down! Dash Wilder watches on! Kofi's in as well! Kofi's going to stop him! And the New Day take this victory! Well, they sent a message to the new team here on Raw that the New Day is still the team to beat. They still are the next number one contenders. And if they're going to get it themselves an opportunity to tag titles, the Revival, they're going to have to beat the New Day. Unsuccessful on this occasion. The New Day have done it again. They'll get themselves one more chance. Can they make it count? They've had several chances now. One last chance. Can they take them tag team titles away from the club that have been nearly unstoppable? Well, Big E wasn't required tonight. I thought maybe he might be the X Factor that the New, that the new Day needed. And not on this occasion. Woods and Kofi Kingston get the job done. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to this one. This is the big one, our main event for tonight. And the winner gets a title opportunity at Tables, Ladders and Chairs. 
It's going to be Seth Rollins versus John Cena in the semi-final match in the Universal Championship Tournament. The winner takes on Samoa Joe at TLC in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. The Universal Championship that is currently vacated will be on the line. Well, if you're wondering why the Universal Championship is currently vacated, well, our former champion Goldberg was forced to relinquish the championship when he lost at Survivor Series and his contract was torn up. Goldberg, Goldberg rather, no longer a part of Monday Night Raw. So Goldberg's gone, which means we don't have a champion, which means we need to find out who will be the next one in a TLC. We will do that. And it will be either be Seth Rollins or John Cena. And they'll take on Samoa Joe. One of these two will get that opportunity. Rollins or Cena, who will it be? I'll tell you what, it's hard to pick. Both men look good. In the lead up to this matchup, both men continue to prove that they are the top two dogs, in my opinion, here on Monday Night Raw. John Cena, three-time world champion here at Universe Mode, has not held a title in over two seasons of Universe Mode. No world titles for John Cena in over two years. Seth Rollins, multiple-time world champion in his own right. It's been a while for him as well, over a year. Rollins wants to get back to the top. Cena wants to get there. He's desperate to get there. Well, only one will have the chance to get Samoa Joe, who also is a desperate man, losing his money in the bank earlier on in the year when he unsuccessfully cashed in at SummerSlam. Joe wants another chance. He'll get one at TLC. Who will be his opponent? We're about to find out. Cena versus Rollins, one-on-one. -on -one. Well, plenty of history between these two, including at the pay-per-view we mentioned a moment ago, Survivor Series. Our last pay-per-view here in Universe Mode where we saw Team Raw dethrone the NWO. Take them out for good. And who were who was on that team? Well, of course, Seth Rollins was one. Samoa Joe was the other. But let's not forget John Cena also on that team. So Cena and Rollins teaming up in recent times. And that friendship, that alliance is thrown out the window all in the name of the Universal Championship close on there by Cena. It's all about becoming champion. And this is what it's all been about from the get-go. It's always been about the title. It's always been about taking the championship away from Goldberg, getting Raw back from Goldberg. And to do so, they needed to take the title away from him. It's always been about becoming the man. And to be the man, you need to be the world champion. And currently, we don't have one. As I said, we'll find out TLC, but Seth Rollins, well, he chased Ch he chased Goldberg for months. He wanted that championship for months. He had a couple of chances, but he didn't really make the most of it, not because of his own fault, just because Goldberg found ways to well, get out of the matches or, you know, find a way to win a matchup when, you know, really, realistically, he was never, you know, never deserved to win it. As now Rollins springboard off the second rope. And connecting right there with a moonsault to the outside of the ring. And that shows you right there the intensity, the plan of Seth Rollins in this match. And what he's willing to do to win this one here tonight. This is what this match means to Seth Rollins. Knowing how big of an occasion that it is. How big of a matchup it is. It's one of our biggest matches in quite some time here on Monday Night Raw. Because this will mean either Cena or Rollins will take on Joe. And we know Seth Rollins and Samoa Joe. Plenty of history there. Cena and Joe... Well, they've teamed up a little bit, but not so much. So that'll be a, a fresh matchup there between those two. Now John Cena throws Seth Rollins back in the ring. And Cena now stomping away. He's going to get Rollins back up. Cena now looking for this. DDT connecting. Nicely executed there by John Cena. Snap DDT. Worked out quite well, but Rollins back to his feet now. And Seth with a knee. Not the King's Landing, but a knee nonetheless. And his knees, we know how effective they are. Sprung off the ropes again, splashing down on John Cena. Don't think he got all of it, but enough to keep him down. But yes, just the one count. That's why he only got the one count. Didn't quite get all of that move. Cena able to kick out comfortably. Seth Rollins has come out of the gate very hard here. A lot of aggression early on. I'm not sure if that's the way to go against John Cena. You're going to have to save some of that stamina, some energy in the tank. Because John Cena is a guy who can go the distance. He can fight for hours. He is so difficult to beat. Rollins is finding out right now as Cena is slamming him down. Normally this falls up with the five knuckle shuffle and here it is. 
early days of the match, but Rollins with a counter. Rollins has done his hard work on John Cena there, and now Seth rolls through. Here it comes! A kick right to the jaw of Cena. Nicely executed there. John Cena now in some trouble. And just like that, Seth Rollins has turned the tables. John Cena had the advantage going for the five knuckle shuffle, but then Seth Rollins turns it around with a super kick. Now Seth in control. Seth Rollins going to drag Cena towards the middle of the ring. What's he thinking about here? Maybe thinking about King's Landing. Oh, he's definitely thinking about it because here it is! King's Landing! Straight into the cover. Hooks the leg. Rollins is going to tail Cena. Oh, a Cena kick out at two. Oh, Rollins thought he was heading to TLC, but John Cena, the ever so resilient, Rollins now, Phoenix Splash! Off the top, Seth Rollins risking it all, and why not, when it comes to the Universal title, you've got to go for it, but Cena is still going himself, still fighting, into the cover now, close to the ropes, Rollins comfortably kicks out, but Cena just putting a bit of pressure back there on Seth Rollins, trying his best to make sure that Rollins stays down and has to work a little bit harder. Not a bad idea from John Cena when you've been on the back foot on the defense for the majority of this matchup because Seth Rollins has been all guns blazing. Seth Rollins has just been at 110% right now and John Cena is struggling to keep up this pace. What a right hand, right to the back of John Cena there by Seth. Well, we expected a tough match between these two. We expected a great match between these two. And they're delivering it right now with Seth Rollins, a reverse Hurricane Runner there. Cena landing badly on the back of his neck. Rollins is in complete control of this matchup right now. Stretching the body of John Cena, wearing limb by limb down. And slowly but surely, Rollins is edging closer and closer to a victory here. Cena now back in trouble. Rollins trying to put him away. Here is the cover and another kick out by John Cena who's, as we said, he's hanging in there. Cena's doing everything he can. Rollins knows how big this matchup is and Samoa Joe, well knowing that TLC is not too far away, he'll be waiting. Next weekend we'll see TLC and Samoa Joe knows that we are not too far away. We've got SmackDown and then NXT and then we have TLC. So Joe would love for these two men to beat the crap out of each other and not come into TLC 100%. Cena, this time, going for the five knuckle shuffle again. This time, he's going to connect. Didn't waste any time this time, Cena. He went straight for it. He didn't have to go for any setup and maybe that's why he was able to connect and find it this time compared to last time where, where Seth Rollins knew it was coming last time. Cena straight into it connecting with the five knuckle shuffle and the AA could be coming very soon if you're Seth Rollins you don't want to be in that predicament Rollins countering the attempted suplex needed to counter that one Cena now picks up Rollins and slams him down for the reverse DDT cover now by Cena will this be it for Rollins to kick out again and Cena you can see the wear and tear on the body early on because he's been trying to keep up this pace but Cena He's recovered quickly, going for the AA. Cena to beat Rollins. No, Seth. DDT. Bit of an execution type DDT there by Seth Rollins. Beautiful counter. Needed to connect there. And Seth Rollins back in the match. Slams down Cena again. Straight away back to the cover. Is this going to be here for John Cena? And another kick out. As the shoulder gets up in the counter two. But Rollins not letting up. Not letting Cena recover at all. Not giving him any time. Rollins has Cena up. What was he trying to plan there? Was he thinking about an AA of his own? It seemed like he was setting up for something similar to that. Something we don't normally see from Seth Rollins. But Cena now looking to fire back. John Cena looking for the AA. Will he be able to find it? Cena! There it is! AA! John Cena is going to TLC! No! Rollins with the shoulder up, and Cena had his dreams crushed right there. The chance of becoming a four time world champion here in Universe Mode is fading. He had a grasp on it. He thought he was going to TLC for his big title shot, but it's not going to happen. Cena misses out, and Rollins stays in the match. Now, Seth, the scoop slam takes down John Cena 
staying in this match. This time the Springboard connects. He got more of that one. And now Cena back in trouble. Is this it for John? No. Tough match between the two already. Seth Rollins is going 100% right now. How long can he sustain it though? That's my question. That's my concern. Seth has just been all guns blazing, but can he keep that up? Can he keep it up for any longer? Cena launched into the ringside post. And Cena, oh, gets met with an E. But Cena able to get out of the ring, rolls out of the ring. Back in the ring now, trying to take advantage. Seth Rollins makes a small mistake, but he's trying to fight out of it. Seth Rollins and does so. Rollins, DDT. Joe is watching with a smile on his face because these two are beating the hell out of each other. Now Rollins wants Cena to get to his feet. Cena can barely do it. He's in the corner and Rollins is happy about that because he's going for the buckle bomb. In the corner and this could be the prelude of something worse to come. Rollins slamming the head of Cena down. And the referee is checking on John Cena right now. Not sure why, why he's doing this. Rollins had a chance to capitalize, but the referee told Rollins to stop. Maybe he's fearing that Cena could be out cold. Maybe he's out now. King's landing, but he gets the fingertips underneath the rope. Oh, what a save by Cena. The fingertips underneath the rope forces the break and stays in the match. John Cena hangs on, but for how much longer? The half crab now. Cena trying to power his way to the ropes, dragging his body, but instead uses his leg strength to shrug off Rollins. John Cena just hanging in here. The King's Landing, and well, already we saw the referee checking on Cena the move beforehand. And Rollins thought, well, hey, if Cena's suffering here, if he's Seeing the fairies, why not go for one more big strike to the skull? And that's what he did. He nearly got the win. Rollins again. This time, Cena again kicks out at two, though. And Rollins has got the right mindset. The referee checking on John Cena, perhaps thinking he could be out cold, out of on his feet, or maybe a concussion. Just seeing if Cena was okay. And Cena is okay, but he's in a battle right now. He's in a really tough battle because Seth Rollins is giving him a real fight. And Cena, though... Bounces off the head of Seth Rollins into the top turnbuckle. Maybe he's been watching a bit of The Undertaker there with a bit of a snake, guys. But Cena, though, can't get the three count. And Seth Rollins once again kicks out a two. Rollins staying in this match, but how much longer can he go? Cena now looking to drop down the double fists right there onto Seth Rollins. But again, did not quite get all of it. Perhaps due to the fatigue that he's currently experiencing. There's now a oh, Forget about fatigue. Cena! Gut wrench into the suplex and takes down Rollins. John Cena now looking to close in on a victory. He sees a moment of opportunity. It's a small window, but oh! Seth Rollins picks up Cena, drives him down, and shuts down any momentum that John Cena had. Excellent from Seth. Really, really good stuff. And now Seth has a great chance, but Cena, well... Nothing pretty about that. Some big right hands, but it will work. Just throwing some bombs. Takes down Seth Rollins. Cena now has Rollins down. Flat on his back. Going to continue the attack. But Cena, what's he going to do here? What does he try? Does he try for the AA? He's just going to try and defend. Seth Rollins continues the offense whenever he gets an opportunity. And Cena just has to be patient and wait for his chance. But if he's going to try and win this match, he's going to have to try and do it in the next couple of minutes, I think. He's got Rollins down. This is the perfect opportunity to start building towards that AA. He may only get one chance at it. You've got to make sure that it counts. You cannot afford to have Seth Rollins counter as he gets hung up on the ropes. Now Rollins going to drive Cena towards the corner. Seth Rollins looking at John Cena, looking to perhaps put him away. But Rollins, though, can't do it. Cena now in the second. DDT in the Tornado style. DDT there by Cena. Is this it for Seth Rollins? Oh, another two count. 
It's getting close for Cena though. He feels as though he's closing in on the victory and a victory that will get him to TLC. A victory that will get him a Universal Championship opportunity to win the Universal title for the first time in over two years. Last time he won it was against The Undertaker. John Cena now, close line to the outside. Seth Rollins is down. And Cena attacking away here. John Cena now. Struck there as now the count continues. You can see Cena's holding the ribs. He was holding his head earlier on. He's in trouble. He's hurting. And Rollins is just going to find a way to capitalize. Take himself an opportunity here and make the most of it. Cena, I don't know how much longer he can go for. Beautiful driver there by John Cena. Hooks the leg. Could be in here for Rollins. Pressure back on. Seth Rollins who kick out. Semi-final matchup here. The winner goes to TLC right now. It is 50-50. I couldn't call a winner right here. But Cena, though, if he finds the AA, he will win this match. He knows that. Rollins knows that as well. That's why Rollins is desperate. Inzaguri keeps Cena down. Cena, though, shoulder block. Maybe the five-knuckle shuffle could be coming soon. Not a bad idea to go for it. If not the AA, he needs something big. Cena now. Going to drive Rollins back to the corner. What a match it's been between these two. What a fight. What a battle. Rollins now. Not good for Cena. Rolls through. Kick right to the jaw. Rollins is fired up. He knows this is the moment. Seth Rollins could win this match right here. Rollins could be going to TLC. Rollins. Look out. No, Cena. Big counter. Oh, a match saver there. That's the type of counter that will win you an opportunity to be at TLC. That could save the match and could be the turning point. John Cena has Rollins in the corner. And oh, an elbow there by Seth. Seth has to continue this as the boot right to the rib cage of Cena, who was holding those ribs earlier on. Not a bad idea to target that. Cena with the right hand. Cena struggling though. He is certainly hurting. And even if you make it to TLC at this point, you're not going to be arriving 100%. Cena... Is exhausted trying to pick up Rollins who finds the counter, finds the elbow. Cena makes the mistake and it could be a costly one. The cover. Wait a second. Cena, he's on the ropes. Cena's on the ropes. He had his head on the ropes but the referee didn't see it. I don't know how, but the referee's made a blunder. John Cena had his head on the ropes and Rollins will go through. The referee has counted the three, but Rollins should not have won that match. Cena had his head on the ropes. It was caught on the ropes on the way down. It stayed on there. And the referee decided to let it let it go through. Did he not see that? I don't know how, but that's a massive mistake. And Rollins, well, luckily, has won. He's going to TLC. The referee has just screwed John Cena. Cena should have been still in this match. Instead, Roland celebrates and he will get his opportunity for the Universal Championship at tables, ladders and chairs against his recent ally in Samoa Joe. Controversy here at Raw, but we will see this match take place. A TLC match, Joe versus Rollins. We will crown a brand new Universal Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for this episode of Monday Night Raw. Yes, controversy towards the end. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we didn't see a fair winner there. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. If you enjoyed this episode of Monday Night Raw and Universe Mind, make sure you do leave a like on it. Let's try and hit 350 likes. TLC coming on the, well, not this weekend, but next weekend. I'll tell you guys whether it'll be Saturday or Sunday. I'll keep you posted. I won't confirm anything right now, but to make sure you don't miss any videos from me, follow me on Twitter at Brendan Plays and check out the website brendanplays.com for your TLC coverage. And of course, while you're there, check out the forums, brendanplays.com forward slash forums. Continue the wrestling discussion there. It's 100% free to join. Lots of fun there as well. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. See you next video.